It's Madden NFL 24, and we've got the Giants, leader at quarterback. He's been sensational as he leads the league in touchdown passes. It's the Giants and the Cowboys, and it's all up next on EA Sports. Just a gorgeous fall afternoon in the heart of Texas. No weather to speak of. Sun out, roof open. Yes, yes, and yes. A great day for football at AT&T Stadium in Arlington. Today, boy, what a matchup. Two NFL franchises with so much history, so much tradition, getting set to do battle here as it'll be the New York Giants taking on the Dallas Cowboys. Two men ready to do battle. It's time to dance. And we are underway from AT&T Stadium. And it's a pretty good return here as he'll get this up to the 29. So here are the Cowboys now ready to go on offense for the first time. And trotting out there, their tall quarterbacks down to get 6-5. And what I loved about meeting with him before the game was talking to a guy who takes ownership of his performance. Two touchdowns, two interceptions last week. But all he focused on was the loss, okay? And he did say, if I change my stats a little bit, not necessarily for me to look better, but that'll help my team. They get six. That'll leave them with third and four. Well, this defense for the Giants, they played really well in the win over the Raiders a week ago. Yeah, they gave up 17 points, but that's what you would consider a goal for each and every defense because if you give up 17 points a game all year long, you're thinking you're going to be a playoff team because you expect your offense to score more than that. That's what you're looking for. Room to improve, of course, but I'd have to say a very solid performance. So here are the Giants ready to start their initial drive of the game. At a glance here at their quarterback standing six foot three. And he's had such a sensational season to this point, leading the NFL in passing yards. He's been helped out a lot by an outstanding set of receivers, and he's quick to give them credit. But I think even they would tell you that he's the guy that makes this offense go. Here's second and ten. Off play action. McCarthy. Here's Johnson with a reception. And he'll be taken down, but not before they work it across midfield. And he'll get this down only to about the 46. These are his numbers from last week's contest. 16 carries, 69 yards. Yeah, he could very well be on his way to a rushing title, but guess what? His offensive line, they're meeting separately because they want that rushing title as much as he does, and they want to make sure they get him there. Now a play fake here on first down, and it's intercepted at the goal line. And the Cowboys are going to take possession here. It's a touchback. And they'll take over at the 20-yard line. And they'll begin by running the option. And he is brought down at the 22 after a gain of two. And it brings up second down. Here's second and eight. And a quick throw here. That's complete. Second catch for him today. And it'll wind up a first down. Up the middle they go. Singleton dances by him. And getting this just shy of midfield. They'll spot it at the 49. Now on first down, he'll drop to throw it. Looking left side, he's got it complete. 11 more on that one and another first down. Out of the gun, they'll look to throw. Oh, he tries to force it in and it's intercepted. Down to the 10 and he will bring it back. It's a pick six and a Giants touchdown. Well, what a response by that defensive unit, Charles, because they just saw their offense throw the interception. They come out there, not only get an interception of their own, but they take it back for the touchdown. I won't sing it because no one wants to hear that, but perhaps in early case, if anything you can do, I can do better between these defenses. A lot of people can't expect the offense to light this game up, but so far, the defenses are stealing the show. So they throw the pick six. They'll get another shot at it now as this one's in the air. Taking it about the one. And he'll be brought down right on the chalk of the 20. Here's the Dallas offense now heading back out onto the field. 
And Charles, if the season ended today, and it's not going to, we still have December Yay, left. More football. <laughs> We're only in November, uh, but they would be a wild card team, and that's great. They'd be in the playoffs, but you know they're trying to bump up to be one of those division leaders. That guarantees you at least one home game in the playoffs, and that's what you're really seeking. But there also isn't much margin for error for this team, right? Because right where they're sitting, a two-game losing streak could have them out of the playoffs, so they've got to make sure they continue to keep the momentum going. Absolutely. There's some sharks smelling blood in the water behind them. So from the 39 now, they'll come up on a first and 10, and he can only manage to get a couple. Second and eight coming up. We take a look at his numbers on the ground last week. Pretty good as he found himself in the end zone on two separate occasions. And those are the most important numbers because no matter what you pile up prior to the goal line, getting in is all that matters. Putting those numbers up on the board, and they love them when they're sixes. Under pressure, they got him again. Looks like a nine-yard loss, and it also brings up fourth. A 40-yard punt, no return, and it'll be Giant football first and ten. Good starting field position for the New York Giants here as they come up first and 10 at their own 37. And just no chance of turning the corner. He can only get back to the line of scrimmage. Second and 10 coming up. And the catch made by Johnson. And this will be stopped at the 44. That one good for seven yards. The tight end in motion right. They'll try and run for the first with Edwards. And he'll get it out a couple yards shy of midfield at the 48. The gain of four that time as the drive continues. They'll go back to Edwards on first down. The Giants at 8-1 and one on the year. And they come in on a pretty good roll here. Winners of three straight. And I thought that they played pretty well last week. Their execution, their discipline, their resilience, all on display in that victory. Chewing up big yardage. Another nice gain there. This one goes for 20. On first down, McCarthy. Quick hitter here, it's complete. Call it a gain of six on the play, and it'll be second down. After one, seven nothing on EA Sports. Giant football, and we're ready to begin the second quarter as they've got it with a second and four coming up. That's going to be caught at the 10 yard line. And yeah, the Giants are going to have a first and goal as he's taken down at about the eight-yard line. One back in the backfield, he'll get the carry. And he's able to get it down to the two-yard line. From the two now, second and goal. And that is caught. He's got it for a giant touchdown. A great effort there. His fourth touchdown on the year. And the Giants go up by two touchdowns. Extra point forthcoming. And it's good to make it 14-0. So that drive consumes nine plays all told. And it was finished off by a touchdown by the New York Giants. And his guys will get the football right at the 20-yard line. They'll start this drive out on the ground. And he's taken down, but able to slip across the 35. From all the way up at the 38 now after a good start to the drive. They'll keep it on the ground. Singleton. And he'll lose yardage on the play back at the 37-yard line. So after the loss of a yard, they'll look to push forward here on second down and 11. Throwing there, but this pass is going to wind up incomplete. And this offense on third down today, just one for three thus far. This is third and 11. And this is going to be incomplete. The passing game not in sync here early. And now it's fourth down. And that one came close to hitting the big scoreboard up there as the fair catch is made inside the 20-yard line. They go play action here on first down. And he'll go down at the 26 following a gain of six. From the 26, they'll line up on second and four. Here's a pass swung out left to his running back. And he'll be out of bounds across the 30-yard line. Line of scrimmage, the 31 now on first and 10. And he'll get a few yards here to the 34. 
And hold on here, because on that last run, it looks like we have a player who was shaken up. Well, now they're going to come out and take a look at this injury, and we'll be back in a moment. And he'll get two, maybe three, up near the 37. In search of four yards here to pick up the first down. It's a short one here, complete to his tight end. The result, only four yards there on the play. And that's going to make it fourth down. And no one there to stop it. Hits at the eight, but it carries all the way into the end zone for a touchback. And now here come the Cowboys. And they're in a bind early here, down 14 nothing. Are you worried at this stage or still too early? You're worried. You're just trying not to transmit it to the rest of your team. You want to make sure that they stay positive. But at the same time, you're wondering, how are we going to move the football? What do we have on this play sheet that can work? Get back to basics is usually your answer. And make sure you find the guy who can move the ball fastest for you if you just get it in his hands. Yeah, still second quarter. You get points on the board here. I think you're feeling okay. So they're forced to punt on fourth as this one's away. It'll be a 39-yard punt, no return. And it will be first and 10 as they take over. So now the Giants set to take over on offense. They're on a three-game winning streak and right now looking good in this one as well. A loss of a yard there to start out. That leads to a second and 11. Now left side, a completion to his tight end. And he's going to be stopped up right at the line of scrimmage. Here's third and 10. Work in the middle of the field, and he's got a man complete. And he will have a Giants first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. Off the play fake, McCarthy. And incomplete, he dropped it. Maybe a rookie mistake there, second down. And they'll run on the inside handoff. And he'll get a little over two, maybe a full three down to the 32-yard line. They need to get this to the 24 on third down. Setting up the screen here to Edwards. And inside the 20 before he's brought down. Another good completion on the drive as the Giants have a first down. To the end zone, but it's incomplete. I see the surprise in your face there, partner. That is a rare incompletion from him. He's been on point this entire game. He has percentage completion-wise way up. Not that time. Another throw on second down, and this one incomplete as well. Well, this drive, they're a perfect two of two on third down conversions, but they need a full 10 yards here. Looking for his running back, and he's got it. Three yards, all they could muster there, and it'll bring up fourth down. Now the Cowboys are going to burn the first of their timeouts. They'll have two remaining as we step aside here in this second quarter. So three points there, and they continue to build this first half lead. Yeah, every little bit helps. And the more that you can put together drives and start controlling the tempo, controlling possession, finishing with points, the better off you're going to be. And he will make it to the 20-yard line and no further. The Dallas offense back out onto the field. And we don't want to call this desperation time, especially in the second quarter, but you're you don't down. don't want to. No, but oh, let me finish. Okay, my bad. You're down three scores already. You've done nothing offensively, nothing on the scoreboard. That's that's not a good combination. I think you, just, you, called it I think you just called it desperation time. I, I think did. you did. But yeah. let's face it, you mentioned this to me in a break earlier in the game. The energy level hasn't been there right from the start. We've noticed that. They've got to find a way to get on their toes and start punching instead of retreating, to use a boxing analogy. So the completion good for six yards, and that will bring up second down. Now a throw left sideline here is complete. Now they got to get to the line quickly. They'll stick with the passing game as he looks to throw. And too much juice. It'll be out of bounds incomplete. Second and ten. Back to throw again. He's going to leave this for his running back. It's complete. And they're going to hurry back to the line now. They'll look to throw again. He's going to launch this thing way downfield. And he knocks the ball away, and it falls incomplete. And he'll get off a fairly short kick here as this is toward the sideline. And they'll play keep away from the returner as this one will be marked out of bounds at the 13-yard line. Pretty good spot. Throwing to start the drive. McCarthy, a swing pass here to Edwards. So the completion good for just three. And that'll make it second down. 
And he'll go down just shy of the 25 at the 24-yard line. So we reach past the halfway point of the season and now past the halfway point of this game. We skip halftime and get right back to the action. Set to begin the third quarter. And good coverage there on special teams as they'll get him down shy of the 20. Here's the Giants offense now getting set to start the third quarter. This offense set to begin the third quarter, and Charles, if they had a checklist of things they wanted to accomplish in the first half, certainly at the top of that list would be having the lead, and they've got that here. That's always the most important box to check, isn't it? But also, they've had some success in their passing game, so probably an empty box establishing the run. They're on pace for fewer than 100 yards in this one, so now they want to make sure that they get that going so they truly have a control in this ball game, and down the stretch, being able to be balanced, either throw it or run it, and try and win this ball game. On first down, they'll go to the ground attack. And a good job of just fighting through one tackle there to pick up about three. Second down coming up. Here's a second and seven. And it's a short one here, complete to the tight end. It'll go as a gain of four. And now we've got a third and three. Pass taken in by his big tight end. And he will have a Giants first down. It's a gain of six that time on third and two. And he will go down. A Cowboy sack. That one will set him back nearly ten yards here on first down on the sack. Got his man complete over the middle. That's more. I always laugh when people say, what's the toughest route to defend? And I'm like, any of them, especially if it's a good receiver, that makes things very difficult. But when you're running a drag route, something short, shallow, going through defenders, using guys almost as, as screens in order to get open, that makes things tougher, guys trying to get to the football. The Cowboys offense now, they head out for their first possession of the second half. They'll try and start this drive in the air. And he stopped right at the 25 after a gain of five. Here's a second and five now from the 25. A throw there, but that's going to wind up incomplete. This offense in desperate need of a conversion as they come up on third down. He, oh, he's hit. He lost the football. Put it on the carpet. Oh, and one of the linebackers has got it. Well, if these guys wanted to get back in this game, they needed an almost perfect second half. And down three scores, a lost fumble here certainly doesn't fit into that plan. That reminds me of my plan in college to get an A on the papers I turned in, but that didn't work out too well either. <laughs> too many mistakes by both of us. <laughs> I mean, that's just pure and simple. And that's why that's exactly where they are in this ball game. They're going to need a huge turnaround if they want to try and win this one. And he doesn't quite make it, taking it within an eyelash. Dropped at the one. Now Barner. And he will take it on in for a giant touchdown. A great play there. His first rushing touchdown of the year. And the Giants take the force fumble and convert it into six points. Extra point splits the uprights, and the lead is now 24. The kickoff team on the field now as they will send this one away. And he'll get it up across the 20 to the 21-yard line. Dallas offense set for this next drive. I kind of feel like they've reached a do-or-die point in this game, Charles. If they're going to try to pull off an impressive comeback, it has to start right here, right now. Yeah, now they've got a final chance to get out of this situation, but they also understand they've got to move the ball and move it fast. In addition, they need to save as much time so they can get two more possessions. This second and four. They run the counter. Singleton. And this Giants defense getting off the ball quickly. They stop him behind the line again. Oh, had his hands on it, couldn't bring it in. Pretty symptomatic of how this game's been going. And on fourth down, on is the punt team sending this one away. And possession switching back to the New York Giants. 
This drive here beginning probably with a pair of motivated groups. Remember the offense scored a touchdown on their last time out looking to repeat that in Charles's defense. They were very frustrated after giving up six the last time on the field. And frankly, it's just a battle of wills in a lot of ways because you know they're both motivated. They both game plan for this drive and they both have specific outcomes in mind. To me, it just comes down to who can execute better and which side can step up and assert its will over the other. Now here's a throw that's complete. And he'll be out of bounds up near the 45 at the 44. From the gun, he'll hand this off. And he'll lose yardage here back at the 41. Third down at six. Looking to throw. McCarthy. And the throw there going to be incomplete. And the Giants send out their punter now as he's on here to punt it away. And that one hits a little too close to the goal line, and it continues into the end zone for a touchback. Now the Cowboys' offense heads back onto the field. See if they can put this drive in the end zone, Charles, because it, it's been a little bit of a rough go at times. They've had to punt the football a ton in this ball game because of stalled-out drives. So are you saying that you're kind of tired of seeing the punter run out there and do his thing during this game? Is that what you're trying to say? You, well... I mean, I'm okay with it. I have a feeling that this offense, they don't want to see the punter again. And frankly, the punter doesn't want to run out there anymore himself. He'd love to see his offense put together a drive and give his leg a rest. And they get him down, but not before he takes it across the 40-yard line. And they're not going to get to the line to run another play. So we will switch ends as the third quarter has come to a close. We'll return with more after this. You're watching the NFL on EA Sports. It's a short one here, complete to his tight end. So that'll be no better than an incompletion, and that's going to bring up second down. Now a shotgun snap as they'll look to throw. It's a short one here, complete to the tight end. Nine yards, and that leaves him just short, so it'll be third and less than a yard. They'll set up a throw. That is caught. And he will have a Cowboys first down, and he'll have it by plenty as they're able to keep the drive alive on third and inches. Again, he'll drop to throw. It's a short one here, complete to his tight end. And he'll go out of bounds after taking it a little further down inside the 40. Here's a throw over the millets taken in by his tight end. And he'll be upended at the 33 following a gain of three. And guess what? It brings up third down. Able to find the open man. That's complete. And he will have a Cowboys first down as they're able to convert by plenty there on third and one. And his throw's going to be incomplete. He didn't just deny a big throw there. He broke that one up in the red zone. An excellent play, one that may help save points on the board when this drive is over. A second down pass play there, but it's incomplete. And that's another play that's painted the picture of this game overall. It's been a blowout. It's been continually fueled by big turnovers and stops for one side and an inability to advance the ball from the other. And they're indeed going to go for it here on fourth down. So trailing here in the last quarter, let's see. Oh, it's intercepted. A drive killer there. And they can't bring him down. And now off to the races, down the right side. And he will bring it back. It's a pick six and a Giants touchdown. Well, this one was already ugly, and now it's just kind of becoming a feast on the defensive side of the football. Yeah, partner, this is a unit that knows they've got this game in the bag with this huge lead, and it's going to drive their coaches crazy because they're telling them, play it straight, do all the right things, but these guys are going to be freewheeling now. All of them are going to take chances, and that one pays off with an INT and a return for six. Point after, right down the middle. And this one was over a while ago as they just add on to that big lead. This fielded right at the goal line. And he'll be dropped at the 21-yard line. So bringing it out of the end zone proves not a good decision. Loses him about four yards. After the pick six, they go right back to the air. Oh, he dropped it. And that's pretty indicative of the way this one's gone. Now a second and ten. 
Now, meanwhile, a pass that should have been intercepted, but it winds up falling incomplete. On third down, he'll drop to throw. And, oh, he coughed it up. And they're going to mark him down short, maybe by about a yard, if that. And now before the ball changes hands, they're going to take a look at this just to make sure that they have it right. So that one overturned. They say the knee was down, and that will not be ruled a fumble. Complete to Taylor on the slant. One thing I think that's safe to say defensively, the tackling's been really good. And because of that, it's been very, very hard for them to move the ball because you're not getting the benefits of run after catch. You're tackling them almost on the spot. That means you have to run extra plays, harder to move it. They'll look to throw here. He throws it on the move but can't connect as that fall is incomplete. All right, they're going to try and keep hope alive here on fourth down. They're going for it. Now they go for it on fourth, but this one is going to wind up incomplete. On first down, they'll go to the ground attack. And yeah, this will be a gain of five as he gets it to the 30. Ball on the 30 now. Here's second down at five. A short gain here, maybe a yard to the 29. The Giants on third down. Five out of nine thus far. This is third and four. Wilson's got it complete. And he will have a Giants first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. Back to throw. McCarthy going right back to Wilson. Wilson. Two yards on the pickup there, and that'll bring up second down. Operating from the gun, McCarthy. And that one incomplete, but now a penalty flag coming in late. That might be P.I. So now then, the penalty's got him set up with a first and goal. Checks this down to Edwards out of the backfield. Touchdown! A two-yard touchdown grab. And the Giants are closing in on a ninth victory on the year as they extend their lead. No going for two. They'll kick the point after. And this one was over a while ago as they just add on to their big lead. The kicking team out there for the Giants as they will send this one away. And up to about the 26-yard line, just across the 25. They'll come out throwing here on first down. And he's got his man out of the backfield. That's complete. And they'll come up second and seven. Looking to throw. Throw left side complete. That's Saunders. Yeah, he's going to be out of bounds, but not before he takes it inside the 40. So how about that for a chain mover? They're all the way down inside the 40 now for first and 10. The throw over the middle taken in. That's a gain of four as we slip inside of four minutes left in regulation. They'll work from the 36 on second and six. Over the middle complete. That's Warren. They'll give him four yards there, and this will wind up being a third and three. Throwing there, but this pass is going to wind up incomplete. Now the offense is not leaving the field. They're going to stay out and go for it on fourth and three. And this time he's got the hookup. It's complete. But no reason not to try it there, and they do indeed convert on fourth. Now on first down, he'll drop to throw it. And he's not able to get away. Sacked back at the 22. So maybe just a momentary setback on what's been a great drive so far, but second and 13 here. Back to throw here. And this one is incomplete. Well, the incompletion, but now we also have an injured player. Ninth play of the drive coming up, and certainly not an easy one on third and long. Oh, this will be incomplete. The rush gets home just as he was letting that go. That could have been worse. Instead, it's fourth down. And his kick is indeed good. 
So he's been automatic to this point of the season, and he connects on the field goal there. And what a luxury it is to have a kicker you can depend upon, partner, because he hasn't missed all year long. Converts on that one as well. And kudos to you. You didn't jinx him. And able to get this across the 20, but not much further as he's dropped it to 23-yard line. They'll start on the ground here on first down. And this will go as a gain of seven as he gets it to the 30-yard line. Now second and three. Out of the gun, they give to Edwards. And they get him down, but not before he takes it across the 40-yard line. 13 yards, good for a giant first down. Firing quickly here, and that's complete. And he is going to be stopped here at the line of scrimmage, and time is going to expire in this football game. Well, this was a really nice display, Charles, of complimentary football, especially how much they were humming in the second half to pull away and get the victory. Really a complete performance. And so much fun when you're able to have everyone contribute, both sides of the ball. You go back in the locker room and you just savor it, right? Because that's what football is all about, a true team game, and they got it done in this one. So for the Giants, the great run they've been on continues as they move to 9-1 and one now. And they'll get another road date next week when they take on Washington. Meanwhile, for the Cowboys, the loss will drop them to 6-3 and three now on the year. And they'll be on the road next week for a matchup with the Carolina Panthers. Thanks for tuning in, everybody. Alongside Charles Davis, we thank our entire crew. I'm Brandon Gauden. This is the NFL on EA Sports.